Welcome back to Crime Science. On our previous episode, we explored the mysterious disappearance of Brandon Lawson. On August 8, 2013, after a late night argument, Brandon left his home only to vanish on a desolate stretch of Highway 277. His abandoned truck, a frantic 911 call, and cryptic last words have left more questions than answers. Tonight, in part two of our series, we'll dive into the days and years that followed his disappearance, uncovering new evidence, lingering questions, and the shocking conclusion to this tragic story. Let's get started. When Brandon's truck was found on the side of Highway 277 in the early hours of August 9, 2013, his family and local authorities began to search what would span days, months, and eventually years. Initially, the theories were as broad as the Texas sky. Did Brandon succumb to the rugged terrain? Was he a victim of foul play? Or could he have just simply walked away from his life? Despite the early arrival of a sheriff's deputy at the scene, the search efforts didn't immediately gain momentum. Authorities initially believed Brandon may have been hiding due to an outstanding warrant. This assumption would prove to be a major roadblock in the investigation. Ladessa Lofton, Brandon's partner if you'll remember, contacted law enforcement and began organizing searches with family members. Kyle Lawson, Brandon's brother, also continued to scour the area, retracing steps and calling out into the bush. The family hoped Brandon might emerge, shaken but alive. Instead, the days dragged on with no sign of him. One of the most perplexing aspects of this case remains Brandon's 911 call. Let's revisit some of the details. At 12.54 a.m. on the night he disappeared, Brandon called 911, sounding panicked and disoriented. In the call, he said, Yes, I'm in the middle of a field. I ran into him. Just the first guy. We're not talking to him. I need the cops. The dispatcher struggled to piece together his words, and the call ended abruptly. Many have analyzed this call over the years with varying interpretations. Some believe that Brandon encountered people who threatened him, while others suggest that he may have been hallucinating due to stress, exhaustion, or other factors. There's even speculation that he may have stumbled into a dangerous situation, such as drug activity, given the remoteness of the area. Adding to the confusion, Brandon's phone calls to Kyle during this time offered conflicting clues. At one point, he told Kyle he was 10 minutes up the road, yet no tracks, footprints, or sightings ever confirmed his location. In the weeks following Brandon's disappearance, the community rallied to support the Lawson family. Search parties combed the fields and terrain surrounding Highway 277. Volunteers, cadaver dogs, and even aerial searches were deployed, but they all came up empty-handed. With no physical evidence to anchor the investigation, theories began to take shape. Some speculated that Brandon might have died from exposure to the elements. The Texas wilderness is harsh, with sharp brush, rattlesnakes, and extreme temperatures, especially at night. Others believe that he may have suffered an injury while trying to navigate the rugged terrain in the dark. Then, there were the darker theories, that Brandon was the victim of foul play. His 911 call hinted at confrontation, and some believe that he might have stumbled upon something, or someone, that led to a deadly encounter. Despite the rampant speculation, no concrete evidence emerged to support any single theory. One of the most frustrating aspects of Brandon's case is the lack of immediate coordination in the search efforts. Early on, law enforcement treated Brandon's disappearance as a low-priority case, partially due to his outstanding warrant. This delay allowed crucial hours to slip away, 
and with them, potential evidence. Ladessa Lofton and Kyle Lawson faced additional challenges. The terrain near Highway 277 was vast and unforgiving, with dense brush and rocky paths that made thorough searches difficult. Wildlife in the area further complicated the efforts, as animals could potentially disturb evidence. Despite these obstacles, the Lawson family remained determined. They distributed flyers, conducted interviews, and worked tirelessly to keep Brandon's name in the public eye. Social media became a key tool in spreading awareness, with amateur sleuths dissecting every detail of the case. Yet, as months turned into years, hope began to wane. As time passed, Brandon's disappearance became a haunting mystery, both for his family and for the true crime community. Theories continued to circulate, fueled by the cryptic nature of his 911 call and the absence of any clear resolution. Investigators periodically revisited the case, but without new leads, it remained stagnant. For Ladessa and Kyle, the lack of closure was agonizing. They maintained their belief that Brandon's case could be solved, holding out for hope for a break in the investigation. Their persistence kept the story alive, ensuring that Brandon's name was never forgotten. Then, years later, a turning point came. A new search effort, organized with the latest technology and techniques, promised to bring fresh eyes to Brandon's case. This search reignited public interest and led to discoveries that would finally shed light on what happened that fateful night. But what did these searches reveal and how did they change the course of the investigation? Here's how the story continues. In 2022, nearly a decade after Brandon vanished, human remains were discovered near the area where his truck was abandoned. The Texas search and rescue team, equipped with advanced sonar and drones, pinpointed a location that had previously been difficult to access. Forensic testing later confirmed what his family had long feared. The remains belonged to Brandon Lawson. This discovery provided some answers, but left many questions unresolved. How did Brandon end up there? And what exactly happened that night? Some evidence pointed to environmental factors, exhaustion, disorientation, and the brutal terrain. Yet the lingering mystery of his 911 call kept suspicions of foul play alive. Brandon's case serves as a reminder of the challenges faced in missing persons investigations, especially in rural areas with limited resources. His family's relentless pursuit of the truth has inspired others to advocate for improved search protocols and more immediate responses to disappearances. For those who followed Brandon's story over the years, his disappearance became more than a case, it became a call to action. It's a testament to the resilience of his family and a sobering look at how fragile the line between safety and tragedy can be. Thank you for joining us for this two-part series on Brandon Lawson. While his story now has some measure of resolution, the questions it raises will continue to echo. Stay tuned for our next episode where we explore another case that defies easy explanation. Until then, take care and remember to stay curious and stay vigilant, and I'll see you in the next one.